almost fell over again. What's up boys and girls? So I was super impatient and I went outside and cut the rack off my other trailer and tacked it on. All right, so the two the two little control arms that I had on here, they're not gonna work with how I have it. Um, it's gonna put a lot of stress and strain on the track bar and shocks because they're all mounted the opposite direction and that's what's gonna keep that axle from twisting. So I went down to the local farm supply store and got one of these bush hog links and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna make some gussets uh, here. I'm gonna box all this in and weld it to there. Same as that side, I'll box all in, weld it to there. That way these two mounts are super solid. I'm gonna come down here where I've got it shaved down and I just had these brackets. I'm gonna box these two lower brackets in and then I'm gonna build me a lower link that's gonna go here. And that's gonna keep that axle um, from wanting to wrap and twist, that's uh, that's gonna put opposing force on it, and it was it's not gonna roll any. Um, it don't have any torque going to it, so the only way it would roll is um, you know, if the, something hit the tire here hard, or you hit a pothole or something. I just don't want it to. I don't want it to roll on the trail or something. Later on, me see something unforeseen, but these are all loose. These bolts are. None of this stuff's tight and I drug it through my yard pretty fast. It did all right. I'm gonna have to scooch the cool springs over a little bit. They're rubbing the tire, which ain't no big deal. I just gotta loosen up the bolts and scoot them that way a little bit and then figure out what I'm gonna do with the shocks. I'm not real sure how I'm gonna uh, do these shocks yet, but I'm gonna figure all that out soon. But for right now, I wanna get this third link in here I want to get all my gussets and everything, the suspension 100% done. Um, I probably shouldn't have done this rack yet. I just put it on here and tacked it, but this is perfect. This is how it's going to be. Um, I can still move it around. It's not too much, so that's going to be good. It does need some ton weight, so in this area right here, I really want to put some type of uh, shelf box a box here of some sort all right while i was at the store i got me a little jack and i'm gonna say i got the same one on my other trailer right there i'm gonna weld that right there it flips up uh, stays up out of the way not too shabby about to die but I got the jack welded on there looking good I got every other piece of suspension welded up in here um, I need to cut some bolts and do some painting and that third link really helped out I'm gonna go pull it around the yard a little bit I started welding some of the posts on I still had to weld the front posts and the insides but I'm gonna clean up my mess and I'm gonna bring it back in the other direction that way the front's facing in and I can work on the uh, front boxes. I also got the max tracks uh, mounted on this side. 
So that'll definitely cover up some of this hole, keep people from taking stuff out. So I'm gonna pull this thing out and uh, pull it around the yard for a few minutes to see how it feels. All right, so I got a lot done today. I got most of the suspension um, mocked up and, and a lot of it final welded. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through here and cut some bolts and tighten all the bolts up. Here's what we got right now. Um, I added that third link. That's just a tractor um, link. Uh, it articulates really well. I'm balancing it. You can see the track bar is moving up and down. Nothing's binding. <clears throat> it also moves side to side really well. Uh, nothing binds there, as you can see. Like it. It's got a lot of spring into it, so once I get those shocks on it, that's going to be real, real nice. Um, I plated the plated in box where the track bar goes. I've got to go through here and uh, finish welding all these. I uh, did a couple of them already. I got this one on three sides. I'm looking for the hitch that I want, but I really can't find it. This setup's really loud. Um, if I was going to continue to do this, I'd probably get an inch and seven eighths ball, put it in a two inch drop, and see if it would go under there with a two inch drop. Um, and I could still latch it. If not, I'd weld a two inch drop into this extension and then. Um, put something in the extension where it wouldn't rattle but that thing rattles bad I've got a bolt thing that you can uh, put on there and tighten it up but the articulating hitch that I want is the max coupler but I can't find it in stock anywhere um, kind of a bummer but yeah it's coming right along tomorrow I'm gonna go up and get the shocks and my plan for those are is bringing those like up through here um, and maybe making just like a hoop off this uh, three by two tube right here come down and just put a put a bolt out where we can bolt that shock onto it put one on each side uh, they're gonna be kind of over here they won't be really in the way that's the only way I know to do that to get a, get a decent shock on it and these shocks that I'm picking up are Falcon adjustable ones so that's even, that's even cooler so if I get a load on it and I want it a little stiffer or a little looser um, I'll be able to come back here and adjust it. I don't really like the floor open like that right now. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about that. Um, I also got my jack mounted on here. That thing's not going nowhere. Uh, works really good. I'm going to take that plate off and put a wheel on it probably. Um, that, way you could, that way you could roll it around pretty easy. What else? The only other thing I know I need to do is put some type of jack in the back or one on each side. Not real sure how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I'm probably not going to do the shocks in this video because I have a ton of editing to do and I'm probably just going to put all these videos out right now and after that, after editing them, I'm probably going to shoot um, the shock video and work it on the shelves and whatnot. That, and I also probably got to buy some parts. I'm not real sure what I need, but so that's going to be all this video. Appreciate y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed my little off-road trailer videos. Uh, I like building this thing, man. This thing's going to get a lot of use. Um, I'm almost to 200 for subscribers. That's crazy. I never thought I would uh, even, like I remember when I got 20 and I was excited. So like I'm almost to 200 now. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, hope y'all like this. If you got any questions, uh, hit me up down in the comments. And as far as that goes, man, I'm going to see y'all in the next one.